Hi YouTube, it is Brandon with Felty's Aquaria. I am just checking in on the 40 gallon a little bit. Just uh, did some work out here in the plant. Checking out uh, the bamboo shrimp here. I can't, you can't see the second one. Well, you can kind of. You see his like little white stripe on his back. He's going into that tunnel. I only did see those two out eating just now. I don't know if the third one might be hiding around somewhere. The bristle nose, I seen there's one here I seen two black ones earlier um, and then one of the big red ones is inside one of those tunnels right there where it's all dug out um, but yeah I was just trying to look for the third bamboo shrimp I didn't quite get a peek at him um, but yeah just checking it out in here today guys I actually I was telling my brother there was one time one of my bamboo shrimp got up in the filter but it doesn't look like there's one inside there um, I guess they get inside there because the flow is there and they were, maybe he was getting bullied or something in that tank I don't know but this this tank everything's pretty community friendly let's see if I can see anything from the side I can't see anything from the side guys you guys aren't going to be able to see anything from the side either um, yeah, just a little check-in on the 40-gallon. I'll let you guys see the other 40-gallon. Um, a little narrate on the glass here. Probably doing some work. I wish it would focus. There it goes. Oh, the big bristle nose poked his tail out. You see that there? Oh, is that the same black one? No, is that, that two of the bigger ones? I wish I had my flash right now, but my phone's almost dead because I was just working out here for a while and doing stuff on my phone too um, yeah I can't tell if there's another black one back there another red one or neither um, lots of red cherries in here I don't know that but yeah um, probably the whole check in in here um, rainbow fish is always looking pretty good here let's check out this guppy on oh, this guppy He's finally going to get to go on a tank and show off for a female. Um, we're going to end up putting him in the 29 gallon tank um, with a female guppy. You can't quite see, but his back tail fin is like, sorry, I'm just going to look at it. So he's got like white. It's like white on his back tail. Wait, why am I not zoomed in on it? There you go. It's like a white back tail fin with yellow and black he looks really good so I think he'll make some good babies we're gonna get him like two females um, throw him in this tank over here sorry it's still a little bit messy I just I was still cutting egg crates so I didn't sweep that up yet but I'll probably be sweeping that up tonight or tomorrow because it should be one of my last few times using the egg crate for right now and I found a better way to cut it definitely use wire cutters I don't know if you guys heard that in another video. There's the bamboo shrimp. You can see them a little bit better right now. I still don't see the third one, but sometimes they hide on plants. And you really, like, they blend in way better than you think they would. You can be looking. I could be looking right at it right now and be like, oh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but, huh. Yeah, I don't see. Okay, we'll check out the big 40, uh, the big fish just tank over here. He looks like he doesn't like me, as usual. Big angry fish. That bowl back there that he was throwing, <laughs> he's like right in my face. That bowl back there, it's growing another uh, leaf out of it. That's kind of crazy. I put some more plants in here. The Java ferns are doing pretty horribly uh, for just the change of temperature, I think, because his tank is heated and the other tank they were in was not. Downloading a new game today, guys. Chime in if you've played this before. Looks like it was going to be pretty sick. Kind of like similar to Command and Conquer or like Warcraft or something. Um, yeah, I got the frog tank. Um, these guys were breeding for like two straight days. I don't like think they've ever done that before for me, so I'm hoping maybe they have some babies this time still some krill in there from when I threw some or not krill it's a mice shrimp 
You see it's dug out a little bit. I think it's them that do it, not the filter. I'm not really sure, though. It might be the filter just kicking sand. But, um, yeah, the frog's looking pretty robust. Frog's all looking pretty robust. That's actually pretty well focused. I'm holding it at arm's length, so I might be a little shaky. Oh, it unfocused on him. And there's that one swimming around in the back back there. Let's see if he comes forward a little bit. Yep. Looking pretty hardy and big sturdy frogs. Yep. That's the frog tank. Still shrimp in there. Still, still shrimp, still, still living on, finding the good fight. Oh, my ponds, guys. I'm not going to show this because it's just sad to see. My ponds are so froze over. Um, I was trying to get them. Sorry, I'm just clearing some stuff really quick so you guys have a better view. You know, like a drink and stuff in the way, I'm sorry. And some chips. <laughs> Don't judge me, guys. Um, yeah, but my ponds are so frozen over. It's so sad for the white clouds. Um, my air pump is still running, like I, I could hear it running under there, but, but there's like a little tiny hole, but it's like the tiniest hole, I'm like, ooh, that's getting, like I might have to end up thawing it out if it stays this cold, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, basically I've just been working on the paludarium, um, these guys get a little jumpy when I start moving around too much, especially when I move the light, but once I get it in place, they usually... They chill out a little bit more, at least. Um, yeah, but the... You see the females even looking good. I got... So it looked like I was getting some breeding activity out of these two. Um, life form to make some babies. If I really wanted to make babies, though, I should just keep species-specific tanks. But I don't even know that anyone wants to buy fish. So, at least until I get, like, a steady outlet of fish, I'll probably just keep it the way I have it set up to where the shrimp are in there. Because... If you had guppies, they would go ahead and have babies, obviously, because they're live bearers, but if you have egg layers like these, which I'm not the biggest fan of guppies, the only reason I'm going with them in the 29 gallon is because they are live bearers. Yeah, you see these guys, the spar up a little bit. Look, they're opening their fins, and they kind of posture on each other. See that? Those are the two males in this tank. And I'm going to end up putting all these males and females and all these rainbow fish and most of these shrimp into the 40-gallon uh, out there with the other rainbow fish and shrimp. So it'll just be a stronger colony of rainbows. Um, I think that there's, like, only two males out there, too, and out of, like, ten fish. So this will, like, divvy up the male to female number but more, um, which might not be as good. might even be less good for breeding I'm not sure I've heard like two females to males it's pretty good for most species so yeah look at this guy he's legit got like orange fins looking really good yeah but yeah the ponds are froze over I might try to thaw them um, if I can tomorrow I just I had some other stuff to do today we were doing like well it's not Valentine's Day but we were doing Valentine's Day stuff we like ate and went out and stuff, um, yep, just gonna be messing with that paludarium, which I guess I should show you guys what I did and what I have planned, do do do, do do do, just elevator music while I walk through the room, don't worry, okay, so, ta-da, okay, so here's what I got. I told you guys I think I was gonna told you guys I was gonna maybe play with some rocks. So you see there's like some silicone all messy up there. I just had a little bit of silicone left and I was like, well, whatever. There's actually sponges in there. I think I showed that on video. Um I just put the silicone on top to kinda just give it some more surface area so less expanding foam goes through those cracks. A little bit's gonna go through, but it's fine. It'll just like seal in whatever I put on there and make it like um It'll give it more surface area, like I'm saying. Like, but I don't, I don't want it to like fully go down in there. If you get what I'm saying. Um, and then I siliconed these pipes in place. Oh, sorry guys. I siliconed these PVC pipes in place. Um, 
just a second ago and I still look home some more egg crate. So now I have like, there's like three layers or four layers of egg crate or what? I think it's four layers of egg crate and then three layers over here. A couple layers back behind there. So now the top of this hide, at least most of the top, like half of the top of this or something, a little bit of this should be out of the water. So they should be able to get up out of this hide and get a breath to breathe if they want to by just climbing. Like, you know, they have sticky feet, they're newts. So the kind of, it's kind of like tree frogs almost, similar idea, even though they're more in water. But, you know, they have the sticky feet like tree frogs would or um, some other frogs, but not toads. I don't think they, I don't think they have sticky feet. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So they will be able to just like kind of walk over from the island right onto that and just jump in and be able to get a breath out easy. Um, I'm not going to overpopulate the tank so it should be fine. And I think I promised you guys that I was going to play with some rocks. So I suppose I'll do that now. Um, just to give you guys an idea, I know my girlfriend was saying that here. Look what I'm going to do. Let's see if you guys can actually get a view of the fish from the top. Can I get him? Come up under here, buddy. I might come up under here. Well, sorry guys. I'm just gonna pull the rocks over anyway. Let me go see some more. I thought I just thought maybe I could like get you guys a good view of the fish while I was doing it. Oh man. That thing is in there. Okay. Alright, so got some rocks. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Let me see what this rock looks like. So I think this side looks pretty good. This side might look better. I don't know. They both look pretty good. I think we'll go with this side. So I'm just going to lower it down in there. I know this isn't the best camera viewing angle. My girlfriend offered to do some video for me one day, someday. But at least for now, this is fine. Is it going to snag on there and actually stay? Okay. So it's kind of staying. I don't really want to put anything else in there. Yeah, that one would be like maybe kind of like that or something. Might have to put a little more coverage from the back because you'd be able to see that brown. But I can fix that. We we know how to fix that, guys. And then I was thinking maybe this one for in front of the water feature. Kind of like this with these holes in the front. Kind of gives some good space for shrimp to hang out in and stuff and hide from newts. I was trying to get it kind of, I don't know if you guys can see, but, sorry, I wasn't even holding it towards it, so you guys obviously can not see, is what I mean to say. Well, that's a little more out than I would actually have it. Um, I'll just tape, I'll just tape it back on there, hold it back on there when I need to get it on there, but yeah, something like that, to where it's, I don't know why you guys are catching such a glare, if it's this light over here, yeah, there we go, that's a little bit better. So yeah, you see a nice little point from that rock, kind of, I probably will try to push it over and then I'll just tape it um, with a bunch of duct tape or something back over to this wall while the expanding foam dries and then it'll, it'll look a little bit better further over. Yeah, you guys can visualize that, at least that much you guys can visualize, right? My girlfriend was like, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're meaning, so I was like, I'm going to just show the people on the channel and then it'll make everybody... Make everybody feel a little happier about it. Oh, here. Look at, look at this, guys. Look. Ingenious. So, look. And then see that crack there? I could just take some small, small rocks or, like, some sand and silicone that or glue it or whatever and sand or silicone or cocoa fiber or whatever will stick to that. I just put a small rock down here. And I just cover all that egg crate up with sand, and uh, not necessarily sand, but um, substrate, like planet take substrate. I can just put that all across the bottom, so you can't see any of that nasty egg crate. And then boom, you have like, you know, the front of an island at least. And then up here, on top, when I do the expanding foam, I'll expanding foam this in a little bit, put some rocks on top of here, like, this might be a good one. There's at least one, you know, that's not fully.